Welcome to your transformation this station. Is station. Your transformation station. We're tapping in to surpassing expectations from the most successful people in the modern day and honing in on new foresight, methodologies, and clairvoyance you never knew. This is your transformation station with your host, Greg Favaza. definition of success if i could go back there's there's not many things that i would go back for but what do you do when you lose your purpose it's okay to struggle it's okay that you're not okay i am your host greg favaza together we will go on a journey this show is all about surpassing our internal dialogue rediscovering your true identity Honing new foresight. We have a chance to make the world a better place for our children. Start living in the example today and become your future self tomorrow. If you can leave our viewers with some good advice to follow, what would you let them know? These things that you're afraid to do, go do them. back to your transformation station i am your host again as always greg favaza welcome back this is your monday morning weekly challenge we are looking at week number 29 is our countdown until next year 2021 for those that are just tuning in if you are new to the show hit the subscribe button We have a lot of great content that we are publishing. We have our Monday morning weekly challenges. We have our Wednesday interview sessions where we're talking with authors, entrepreneurs, business owners, motivational speakers. We have a lot of great things that are underway and that are going to be coming in. So yes, hit that subscribe button. If you have not hit that subscribe button, do so. I even hooked it up into the show notes. So you can just scroll down there, copy that little URL code, put it into that Google font majigger data, and then we can just keep on rocking out every week. Yes, that is right. Every day is a transformation. It is your transformation. We are doing this here together. So let's rewind. We have our Monday morning weekly challenger. It's a call to action to everybody that's listening. And so far we are on number three. We are implementing this. It is consecutive in every call to action. You will maintain it until the end of the year. That is what leads to your metamorphosis into your new selves where you don't need to be a New Year's resolutionist that says, I'm going to do this. By the time that happens, you've already done it. You have bragging rights to say, I'm good. For, for once, I'm actually going to take the month off and just do what I please. However, that's not really realistic. So let's get back to reality here. We have covered a motivation to our fellow man. We have covered our morning creed. This creed is introducing an intellectual standard in our reasoning, which is extremely important. This, and that's why I gave it to you guys. Today, society is filled with propaganda and paltering, and it's just nonsense. And I want to arm you all with the ability to cipher and understand what's being presented to you and challenge it period. Now today's episode, we are looking at conquering our inferiority, our inferiority by making this conscious effort. And what do I mean? We are taking corrective action against unsatisfactory beliefs and conquering our inferior feelings inside by gaining this key understanding, whether our habits are good or bad, this process 
forming these said habits are formed in the exact same way. Doing so, we must replicate it. Using this application, we can form and revise our own beliefs that we do so. Desire. So what I teach you here is universal. You can apply these methods and tailor it to any way you choose. Now, we are focusing on happiness today. We need a little happiness. And it sounds a little... This sounds pretty lame sauce. I'm not going to lie. However, we have been stuck in our houses for months. A lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of people are struggling right now. And some people need this little bit of certainty in their lives. This little certainty is a guarantee to change your mindset, to put you in a new way of thinking. But it comes with a cost, and that cost is commitment. Commitment to do this application every single day. And simply, all you have to do is take this moment and commit to yourself in a relaxed state. That is the very key factor in making a habit into a heuristic, is being in a mental relaxed state. I mean, not focusing so hard that you just want it to work. It will not. You have to be comfortable. Let it happen. Let it just flow naturally. Stop and say to yourself, I'm beginning a new day by choosing to live this day in a better way. Then commit it to memory by saying, I will be as bubbly as possible. Bubbly. I will make a conscious effort to feel and act a little more considerate towards other people. I will be a little less critical and a little more enduring of other people, their errors, shortcomings, and their mistakes. I will place high regard on their actions. With that in mind, I am convinced personal success will always gravitate towards me. And I am already the person, the desired person I want to be. I will be deliberate in all my actions and allow this new identity to become true to its conviction. I will not let my emotionally driven opinions become self-defeating and hinder my success. I will practice looking in the mirror, telling myself I love myself at least three times during the day. No matter how my day plays out, I will react calmly and intelligently as possible. Lastly, I will block out and overlook all those cynical and negative facts that I can do nothing to change. This is your morning creed along with your other one. You have your critical reasoning. You have your happiness. You have your motivation to go out there and continue to make an impact in somebody's life. These Three daily actions will lead to a ripple effect in the development of your character, in your standard, in your leadership. It will change you in a well-rounded way. I promise you. I'm experiencing it right now. I can honestly tell you through my experiences, I have starting to look at things in a more deep intellectual understanding way that being said this is your transformation station i appreciate you guys for listening tuning in for people that are new to the show make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you've not checked out our facebook page do so at your correction at yts the podcast on facebook yes this is your host Greg Favaza. If you have not left a review, reviews are kindly appreciated and we need them. We need to boost the algorithms to rise up these rankings 
and get this show out there. People need this. We they need this structure. You've been listening to your transformation station, rediscovering your true identity and purpose on this planet. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we hope you've gotten some useful and practical information. Join us weekly on Monday for the YTS Challenge, and bi-weekly on Wednesday for the exclusive interviews at 8 p.m. Central Time. In the meantime, connect with us on Facebook and Instagram at YTS The Podcast. We'll be back soon. Until then, this is your Transformation Station, signing off.